All right. I'm past that wall, White. I don't. I don't need to do anything. Alright. Okay, well, or I didn't want to go up there, that's fine too. City Watch owns these streets. That's not gonna change. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and go into Galvani's offices just because he has treasure. Pretty sure those guys can't see me up here. Seen anything scary? <laughs> that's not really much of an answer. You just kinda scoffed at him. That was rude, if anything. I might have to very quickly kill two people. Okay, no, we're good. I think the combination for this is 278. That's not it? Okay. Well, it's somewhere around here, so... Let's find the combination pouch. It's written on one of his chalkboards, if I remember correctly. Rats. Give me that mana. There we go. Yeah, because of one of my bone charms, I can eat those guys and get mana. Wait. He touched the door handle to Dr. Gumpy's lab? Yeah, I think so. Then you have to scrub. The rats get their vital essences everywhere, the doctor said. Vital essences? Does that mean guts? I think so. So your hands need scrubbing. You're unclean. Unclean? That's nonsense. Can't we just- No, I told you. With rubbing alcohol or white vinegar. All right, all right. What is he doing there all day? Ambrose says he breeds rats that carry the plague. Your friends are ignorant. The doctor is a brilliant man. If anyone can save this city, it's him. The royal physician is going to save us. I hear his new elixir is twice as good against the plague. I don't understand how Galvani can admire Sokolov. Royal physician or not, I hear tell he's a beast. A superstitious philanderer who spends more time with prostitutes than he does in the laboratory. Is this what it's going to be like when we're married? It is, isn't it? Oh! I'm telling you now, I don't have the endurance for it. Oh, you've got a key. I thought it was just your hubby there that had the key. <laughs> Shit, he's a little closer than I thought. Alright. Your key first. He's going upstairs. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Sorry, buddy. You're not going to make it up there conscious. Much as it pains me to say. I don't want the rat viscera. Actually, I do, because I might do it later. Um, I just gotta find a nice hiding place for you. Also, that glass is hiding some of my good stuff. Please don't eat him. I might need him later. Let's see. Is there anything in here? Nope, just rats. Goodbye. Yeah, pretty sure the labs are empty. 287, that's it. Could have saved myself a lot of trouble if I had just reversed the numbers. Galvani lab key. Man, this guy's place is not secure in the slightest. I'm kind of surprised the globe doesn't open. Ugh. That's gross. What do we got in here? Health elixir, or spiritual remedy, sorry. Blue stuff, not red stuff. This goes back out onto Clevering. Let's go open the safe. Corvo does not care about the plague. One bit. Doesn't look like that nurse is hanging out around here. Or not nurse, cleaning lady. Garbage, she is hanging out around here. Okay, well that sucks. Let's 
go around her. That's an easy solution, right? she there? Nope. Where is she? I feel like she left. Okay, more bullets and I didn't even have to kill anybody. Go me. I want to get that, but at the same time... Worth it. Alright. So it's 287. Oh god, I have to do almost a full rotation of this thing. Oh, sure, I guess it opens once you go past it, so that's fine. Alright, I was never here. Go to Clavering. And I'm not gonna poison Slackjaw. Not yet. He can still be useful. There's a second wall of light over there, so I'm just going to go around it. Instead of trying to disable it and go through. You're not going to try to fight me, right? Get lost. Okay, that's fine. As long as he ain't trying to fight me yet. I'm shoving off. You'll want to fight about it. Get his old ass. I can't even remember the end. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Oh, there's my sword in my thing. 20 plus 2 elixir. Look like 25 to me. Look here. It's 20. It's 5 each, Counting Boo. What? You want me to check your pocket? That's not how math works. Let it go, kid. Hey, oh, no, that's fine. All right, look. I... Alright, well that's just a little rude. Come on, man. I didn't want to kill you guys, you just had to see me. That's not the button I wanted to hit either. Man, nothing is going right this playthrough. Uh, nothing. Nothing happened up here. Don't you worry, your little head. Oh, look. That went well. I mean, just as long as that guy doesn't realize that I was involved, I think we're good. Onwards and upwards. Confiscated rune. Alright, cool. I've got, yeah, four runes now, so. Let's go with agility so I can get that double jump. And then. Bend time, because that's pretty useful in a fight. Let's see. I don't suppose I can just go over the light. Actually, no, there's no wall of light there. I can just walk right in. So that's what we're going to do. Say hello to Holger Square. And then this is actually super convenient because Overseer Martin is right at the door. Hello. I hear the second thing is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Alright, look, your taunting is getting a little old and I just got here. Martin, get out of there. Feels good to stand up straight. Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal. His notorious black book. And get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kerr now. And word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. Alright, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard. Behind the office of the High Overseer. May okay. all the spirits guide you, and may our enemy's head hit well, that's a morbid way to say good luck, but I'll take it. Come on, Cor 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 Corvo. Work with me. There we go. 
It sounds painful. So Have you ever seen the ritual? I've never seen the heretic's brand used. No, it's a rare occurrence. But I did spy the face of one so branded. A former member of our order, of course. Out on a retreat, we passed through a fishing town and saw him begging. What were his crimes? Who can say? The brand is reserved for an overseer. Or even the high Actually. overseer himself, who violates our codes and must be cast out permanently. Remember the seven strictures, and you never need worry about such matters. I will, bro. Yeah, you guys have fun with your seven strictures. I'm just going to be over here executing your high overseer. Things are bad. Could the city get any worse? Indeed, I believe so. Man, you guys are such optimists. I really admire that. Nothing in this bin here. I can get up on that lamppost. And then I get up on this ledge over here. There we go. Okay. All right, please. So, yeah, I just got to go through there to get to the meeting chamber. The story district that way. Branding instructions. That sounds fun. Of course, I know exactly what those are. So, they are, in fact, quite fun. Yep. I'm taking one of those pathways right now, game. Thanks for the heads up. I'm probably going to miss quite a bit on my way here. Or through here, I guess. Search the place top to bottom. And nothing to eat but the swill we hand out free. Of course we didn't find. Alright. Let's get up here, because I think there is something I need. Bolts on branding heretics. Sleep darts, there we go. The heretics brand. Nice. Now I just got to knock out Campbell. There we go. Perfect. Easy peasy. Oh, I guess I don't even need the instructions from in the library anymore, so that's good. Still an excellent way to sneak past these idiots. Back to the beginning. It was Martin's plot to break him out of Cold Ridge Prison. That's clear enough. Alright. And there's an alarm. I could probably stand to rewire that, but I think I can handle this by not getting caught. Okay. Kurnos glass. Uh, spill the glasses. Then, when they walk in here to get drinks, I'm basically just gonna wait for them to realize that they've been spilled. And then, sleep dart Campbell and let Kurno leave. Actually, shit. If I let him leave, he's probably gonna redo the alarm, or I guess do the alarm the first time. So let me go ahead and choke this guy out. Alright, come on, come on. Rewired. Leave you up there. My time is almost up. They are almost getting drinks. Will you have wine? It's a Tivian red. It's a Tivian spilled. Thank you. Where's the sleep darts? There they are. I owe you an apology, Captain. This is hardly the hospitality I planned for you. That's a way to put it. Well, time to do this the hard way. What was that, Campbell? Never mind. It's a stroke of luck for you, Captain. I'm forced to break out the real vintage. You gotta figure there's probably more wine in there, right? Share with all of them. <laughs> Very well, Campbell. As long as we get this little dispute settled. Stick Campbell. And then stay out of Carno's way. Oh, alright, he's just gonna walk off. That's fine. Oh, there's another overseer over there. Let's get you taken care of. 
I'm basically just gonna stash half of this cult on the railing. There we go. Okay. Campbell, let's go. Let's take a trip. Last time I did this, I actually choked out Kurnow so he wouldn't run off and get an alarm, but I guess that was unnecessary. And then uh, Callista ended up thinking that I killed him. Because unconscious... Oh, yeah, I hit him in a rafter. That may also be part of it. Um, he may not have been able to get down. Maybe he starved up there. Who knows? Oh, wait. This is the interrogation room. Okay. Let's take a trip in here. Ooh. Is that door open because of me, or did that guard open it? I guess it was open because of me, because there's nobody in here. Nobody sees anything. Alright. You know how people get face tattoos? This is about a ten times worse. There you go. Enjoy it. 